Alright you guys, Fishing Surfing here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on my hollow body frogs. So I went frog fishing a few days ago and I caught some bass on this frog, it's H2O Express Black Frog, and I'm pretty sure it's 55 or 65 size. So my two favorite frogs that I have, this is all my frogs I have in my tackle box right now. So my two favorite frogs is this one. The big one, the 65 or 55 T, and this little one, the 45. So I've caught numerous bass with both of those colors. And the reason why I haven't caught anything with these because I recently got them. So this one I actually found floating in the lake at the lake I just went to for frog fishing. I found a piece of braid and I pulled it up. And this frog was on the end of it, so it's very nice. I'm guessing it's... A KVD, I'm not sure what color it is, but it came with this trailer hook right here. You can see it's attached to the two main hooks right there. Two main hooks go back like that. It's a very easy, like, very light, so bass bites it. It can easily get hook set. The red eye, it's a natural color. The spots and the black spots on the bottom, and greenish on the top. So, if you want, you can comment below what color you think this is. I have no idea what it is. I'm guessing it's made by maybe KVD or something like that. I don't know what color it is, though. So. With and it has a yellow and black skirt, and this trailer hook was tied on was on when I brought it in. So this one we threw out a couple times at that frog lake, didn't get anything. So we switched to this black frog, and I caught two fish. So they were both pretty nice, probably around two pounds. And this one's a 65T, maybe 55, I'm not sure, it's like in between. And it has the red eyes, black and yellow on the top, black and yellow on the bottom, those little like patterns, and black and yellow skirt. So I, what I do with my frogs is I trim the skirts probably about a centimeter to a half inch off because I really don't like the long skirts like this one. I still have to trim this one because it's really long. But what I like about this frog is it already comes with the short skirt. Because if you have long skirts, it's gonna the bass are gonna come up from behind and hit it, but they don't swallow it. Cause that's what happened to my brother. Came up and like just sucked in the legs and didn't bite the hook, so we missed the fish. So that was kind of sad. But so there you go. I have these two. Both of these frogs are made by H2O Express, both in the black color, the large and the small 45T red eyes it's got it's pretty good it stays float pretty well fish over duckweed at the lake I went to caught a few bass I caught I think three bass on this on this small frog the last time I went there and then more recently I went there I caught two bass on this big one so just conditions vary catch different size catch different amount of fish cuz my brother was using this frog didn't catch any with it got a few hits didn't catch any and I was throwing out this frog and the high caught two and got a whole bunch more blow ups so there you can see I showed you this frog and those two H2O Express frogs H2O Express really makes H2O Express really makes some nice lures so this one I just recently purchased today is a Matzuo America frog it's got really sharp hooks although I don't really like how they're shaped because they're pointing down so later I'm gonna have to get pliers and bend these up so that the plastic is the hooks going up above the plastic instead of the fish just having to bite down and get hooked. So, but what I really like about these frogs is it comes with the skirt already being roughly two and a half inches, which is a really good size because that's perfect for the bass to bite it, and you get all those hook sets and reel them in. So I've never lost a frog. I've never, I've never missed really. Well, I've gotten hit, but every single fish that I've hooked I always land because they always completely swallow it when they do bite it so you can see it has the brown bottom all solid brown with the red mouth it's a popper mouth so it can pop back and forth but you can also sit it there its legs will spread out it'll look like a frog but I really like these dark colors because I fish a lot in the daytime and I was getting way more hits with this black frog than I was getting with the green frog so this one has like a reddish stripes on it, reddish pattern, with the orangish eyes and brown back and solid brown belly. But I also like is this really sharp, these hooks, so it should hook up with a lot of fish. 
the black and some browns in the skirt. So I'll definitely be throwing this in the daytime, maybe in the thinner duckweed. So thank you for watching on my hollow body frogs, and hopefully you watch my past frog fishing videos. I just uploaded one earlier today, and thanks for watching, and subscribe for more frog fishing and bass fishing. Thanks.